Okay, got my blueprints, went down and had a few sets uh, printed off and uh, getting ready to meet with the builder uh, this afternoon and give him a set. We got a set for the plumber, uh, got a set for us to do the electricity. We have electricity drawings and everything. Um, so I'm getting ready to tell you how much this costs and uh, why you need blueprints or plans and uh, the difference between doing it rural area and doing it in, in the city. So stay tuned. Okay guys, welcome back to Our Oklahoma Life. Uh, we've been making some progress. We got our plans back from the architect. Um, we got our plumbing bid. Uh, came in at uh, for all of our rough end plumbing in the slab came in at uh, about 6,500 I think it was and um, <clears throat> We've got I just got here to the property this morning. It's a beautiful day here. It was a uh, about 67 when I got here. It's about 72 now and um, I'm looking over at where our electrics gonna be. They've got the poles cables and everything the transformer and everything laid out on the ground uh, so I'm imagining they're going to install that in the next few days, hopefully. Um, then we'll have some power up here. Actually, they have to install the pole. Then I have to I have to install the uh, disconnects, the service disconnects, and then they'll come back and make it live, hook up the power. So that'll be in a future video. Anyways, blueprints. Um, what they are and why you need them. They're basically just a drawing every house down to the inch, uh, or even fraction of an inch, uh, if you want. Um, do you need blueprints? Uh, if you're in a rural area, maybe not. Um, a lot of builders, especially uh, metal building builders in in outside of the city in the in the county uh, unincorporated areas, they can do a basic plan for you. Um, you know and uh, Get your your plumber can get your plumbing in the right place or really close to it um, we decided to get plans because we wanted to know where everything's gonna go plus we have a few um, special issues like we're we're having a concrete safe room put in and then, then there's a wall you know on the other side of the wall there's a toilet um, and, a, and then a bathtub shower wet room and if the plumbing doesn't go in in the right place um, you know, on a normal house, you can move the walls an inch, two inches, you know, three inches. Uh, actually, you can move it as much as you want to make sure your plumbing is in the right spot. You know, you need a certain amount of room on either side of the commode to be able to use it, you know, not be pressed up against the wall. Well, with ours being, our bathroom being right next to the safe room, um, that's a concrete safe room. There's no moving that. Um, and that all the the spacing on that side of the master side of the house is um, pretty tight as far as clearances you know not more than an inch maybe two you know leeway either way so we need to make sure that those plumbing the rough end plumbing in the slab is in the right spot um, so that's when we had the architect um, we used a company called um, designers Inc dot us uh, we did it all online. They do have an office and um, uh, Where is their office? Anyways, I'll put it in the description, but they are in Oklahoma. They have an office um, It took us about two and a half weeks. They were great. You know, we sent them all of our ideas uh, The drawings that we had made up. We sent them pictures of you know what we want our shower uh, tub wet room to look like um, You know the the type of roof pitch and, and where it breaks for the porches <clears throat> um, uh, the uh, <clears throat> some pictures of what we wanted our uh, pantry laundry room slash mud room to look like and um, so they did all that they did the cabinet layouts now you know we'll have to go down and have you know, order the cabinets and see if that's a realistic layout um, but they did exactly what we wanted we we went through two rounds of changes um, the first round we changed a couple of things they sent it back we changed 
one or two more things we sent it back and about two and a half weeks later we were done we paid them online they sent us the digital copy I did have to go down and have these printed I had five sets printed it cost me 170 bucks so it's not cheap to have them printed but that that was not the cheapest I found to get it printed but you know I had it done in like two and a half hours went back and picked them up like I said we got five sets uh, it was nine sheets I didn't need to print all the nine sheets some of it's just information code type information um, how the foundation should be laid out and uh, beams in the foundation uh, electrical codes stuff like that I didn't need to print all that out but I did anyways just in case so anyways I highly recommend designers Inc um, you can shop around. We shopped around five different places before we found Designers Inc. Designers Inc. charges, um, uh, I'll just tell you, it was over a thousand, it was less than 1500. We originally, we wanted just the blueprints. We didn't need anything else, a rendering, you know, they gave us a nice rendering of what the house is gonna look like. We didn't need that, but nobody out there will do just the blueprints or, <laughs> you know, they'll do just the, just the, the layout. They're still going to cost you the same amount, so they they just do a package price. So we got the we got the um, the layout uh, floor plan, the electrical plan, the slab plan, the roof plan, all the elevations, you know, the pictures of the front, sides, back, and uh, what else, and the rendering of what it's going to look like. And we're very happy with what they did. Uh, I wish we could have just paid. You know a lot less for just the floor plans but we couldn't get anybody to do just the floor plans so their their pricing you can go look on their website and uh, their pricing they do either by the square footage or uh, by the hour ours happened to be cheaper and and they, they'll bill you whichever one's cheaper so ours was cheaper doing it by the hour um, it would have been for our square footage it would have been uh, I know 2300 something like that and um, doing it by the hour because we gave them a plan that I had drawn up in a program called program called sweet home and basically it was done um, you know we just made a few tweaks they told us what worked what wouldn't work you know if, if you needed uh, we also wanted ours ADA compliant wheelchair compliant so you know they said oh you need more room here you know the the toilet closet needs to be a certain width so they they gave us all that information said you know you need to change this this you know to be um, compliant for wheelchairs and whatever um, you know stuff like that and uh, so they did all that they did the measurements they took into account the thickness of the walls you know thickness of the barnuminium and the walls on the inside of that um, so you know you lose a little bit of square footage because of that and uh, they took into account all that stuff, which I didn't. I knew about it, but I didn't do it when I designed it because I, I knew we were going to have somebody else draw it up. So anyways, we had them do it. Do your research. Get multiple uh, quotes uh, for a designer or an architect. And um, if you do choose Designers, Inc., tell them my case on you. I don't get anything out of it. Seriously. I, I just I like them. I like promoting companies that I've worked with that I really liked and we really like them. Um, some of the other reasons you might need blueprints um, if you're building in the city limits then uh, most of the uh, the city government officials, zoning, planning, whoever does the the uh, your plans and everything, most of them want a set of blueprints. A lot of them want a set of engineer blueprints. These are not engineer stamped. That costs extra to get them uh, engineer stamped um, I don't know how much extra because we don't need it we're out in the in the country um, we don't have any any permits or inspection uh, permits or inspections except for the per, uh, septic so anyways let me give you a little sneak peek here I did post this on um, I don't know Oklahoma Barnuminiums and um, budget barn and a bunch of pages on uh, on Facebook so I'm not I'm not gonna show you all of them but you know we got a we got a rendering that's what our house is gonna look like um, 
so didn't need it but it's kind of cool I might frame one of them and put them in my office in the house or whatever um, here's one of the sheets like I told you it just has a bunch of information um, how to do stuff some some code stuff and whatever don't really need it I didn't really need to print off five copies of that but I did It's a little breezy this morning okay this is the one we needed this is the one you're gonna need um, if you have to uh, submit them to the cities or whatever these are the floor plans and <laughs> the wind's not cooperating but anyways these are the floor plans like I said it's got all the measurements on it where all the walls are the thickness of the walls um, The, you know size of the doors um, like here this little circle here that's how much room you need inside of a bathroom to be uh, ADA uh, wheelchair compliant so we we've got that you know we have plenty of room there um, so basically we have a set of bedrooms on this side with a, uh, a shared bath which will also be the uh, guest bath comes out into the kitchen uh, dining room and living room then on the master side we have a walkthrough this is going to be a pantry slash laundry room slash mud room um, going through here to the garage but then on the master we have the master bedroom we have the master bath with the uh, uh, toilet closet and this area here is a wet room with a, a bathtub and a shower all built into one our sinks and in here this is a walk-in master closet we have a door that goes into the closet and a door that comes out of the closet into the laundry room my wife wanted that um, since it's basically just me and my wife uh, my son's gonna be living with us for a while but it's basically gonna be being me, me and my wife until the end of time or until we die um, and then off of the master closet we're having a six by eight um, uh, concrete safe room put in there um, so that's the reason why we got the that's the main reason why I got the plans I wanted to make sure all the plumbing was in the exact spot it needed to be because that safe room once it's installed is not going to move then we have a 24 by 40 garage we have a uh, I believe it's 10 foot something by 11 foot something storage room in there we have a utility closet here that's going to be our hot water heater uh, breaker box um, <laughs> breaker box and uh, PEX manifold in there. And then two two uh, garage doors and parking for the garage. So that's basically our plans. And uh, this is what you can expect to get if you have somebody drop your plans. So anyways, like I said, shop around. Um, uh, see what you can find. See what about pricing. Um, I will say that we were very happy with Designers Inc. Um, I'm not going to trash any other companies. There's a few that didn't seem real, real professional. Um, seems like a lot of guys, and I'm not saying they're not doing a good job, but a lot of guys are, you know, just little independent guys working out of their house, um, which is fine. You know, lots of people work out of their house. But when I contacted them, they weren't real professional over the over email and stuff. Um, I just didn't get a good feeling. Um, these guys had a had a brick and mortar store. Um, they were extremely nice, extremely helpful. Um, they made suggestions. You know, said you know, well, you could do it this way. You could add some a closet here. Um, you know, move these doors a little bit, give you more room. You know, stuff like that. And they said, you know, they're totally optional, but we we're, we're making these suggestions. Um, but they basically we we had drawn up our plans a couple months ago so we pretty much gone over and over and over it we knew pretty much what we wanted we probably made I don't know six seven eight changes total uh, we didn't have to do a lot of changes and the more prepared you are um, the more you know what you want the less time they're gonna have to spend on it you know the less hours they're gonna have to spend on it and it's probably gonna be cheaper 
Um, if you have pictures of anything that you would like in the house, uh, you know, pictures you saved off the internet, whatever, uh, send those over to them. You know, they they wanted everything. We even we even told them what colors we're going to do. We're going to do uh, you know uh, stain and seal concrete, um, all that kind of stuff. Now these plans did come in color. I mean, there's not a lot of color. The renderings in color, and the uh, electrical plans in color. We had one print printed in color. Uh, I think that was like seven bucks for that one set of prints, and uh, the rest of them uh, are in black and white. But um, <clears throat> we had a very good experience, and like I said, you're basically your builders. You can a lot of builders will drop your plans. Um, Sometimes you can just take something you found on the internet or a drawing that you did to a, to a builder and they'll build it off that. Um, your plumber's gonna need to know where all the, all the plumbing goes. If you're in city limits, chances are you're gonna have to have a set for the city. They're gonna have to be engineered, engineer stamped. Um, so you're definitely gonna need a set of plans. Um, so that's about all, all I've got today. Um, like I said, I'm gonna meet with the builder this afternoon and uh, give him a set of plans and hopefully we're gonna set a date today um, he's been backed up so we haven't really got a date yet um, but I want to get this up and get it dried in by the end of the year and uh, then we're gonna build an apartment inside the shop uh, this doesn't include my shop building because it's just a big 40 by 60 metal metal building and we're building a small bathroom and office in the corner I didn't need to pay another <laughs> you know 1500 bucks for for the shop and because um, it's very very basic this the house we wanted to get absolutely correct get all the measurements absolutely correct and it's going to make it easier for, for us when we go to start standing up walls and you know we'll go around and uh and uh mark everything where everything goes and then we'll start building walls and standing them up so um hopefully we get our building in by the end of the year dry it in and then we get we're hoping to get everything done by sometime next summer at the, next fall at the very latest um, so that's where we are now um, things are coming along you know every every step we get closer <laughs> it makes us happier and happier um, I'm happy when things are going good they get kind of down when things are not going kind of good but it is what it is, and uh, nobody said building a building a house would be easy. So, anyways, fixing to eat lunch. We uh, we come up here so often now that um, we start packing a lunch because it's you know just the gas with the current gas prices is you know a tank and a half, two tanks to drive up here, uh, depending on if we do anything else while we're up here, and uh, it's starting to add up. And every time we stop and eat someplace. Uh, that adds up so for the last few weeks we've been packing a lunch got some water some dr. pepper um, sandwich and stuff in there um, let me see if I missed anything I have I actually made some notes so all right um, billing okay I thought of a couple more things um, It'll help you get uh, plans, blueprints, uh, stuff like that. Um, don't look for just barnuminium blueprints. Um, bar barnuminiums tend to tend to lend themselves to square or rectangular buildings, but they don't have to be plans for barnuminiums. Um, you can take any plan, and if you're going to send it to a designer or to an architect, they can make it barnuminium specific. So if you see something you like. Um, that's not necessarily for a barnuminium. Could be for a stick built house. Could be, you know, for whatever. If you like the layout, if you like the plan, um, and you just want to make a few changes, copy it, download it, whatever, from wherever you're looking, and uh, send it to an architect or a designer to see if they can um, help you make it into a barnuminium plan. I'm sure they can because ours wasn't a barnuminium plan. Um, I drew it on uh, on Sweet Home. 3D and I sent it to him didn't have the right thickness walls or anything like that but he made it into a Barnuminium plan so um, look wherever you want look on Google look on Pinterest look on 
Etsy. There's plans everywhere. And uh, it took us about, I don't know, six, eight months, but we finally found one that we liked that just needed a few changes. And that's how we came up with ours. So anyways, I just had to uh, come back by the property. I thought I'd uh, add that to the video. Oh yeah, most mortgage companies want a, a set of blueprints too. So that's another reason to get a set of blueprints. Um, um, you know, there's basically three different types. You got drawings, just floor plans, and then you have blueprints that can be uh, engineer stamped. So that's basically, there might be other ways to get it done, but that's basically the ways you're gonna get, get it done. And they're all gonna be starting with drawings. If you just do a drawing, that's gonna be your cheapest bet. If your if your builder can go off that, um, obviously if you have somebody do floor plans, that's the next step up. And <clears throat> if you have somebody do uh, the blueprints with the uh, with engineered stamp and all that, that's going to be the most expensive. Shop around, um, make sure they have a good reputation. Maybe you know make sure nobody's made a bunch of complaints against them or anything. But um, I think that's all I got. Um, so this is uh, our video on getting blueprints and uh, how we got our blueprints you know approximately how much we paid them I'm, I'm not gonna tell you exactly because everyone's gonna be different um, I will say it was between a thousand and fifteen hundred which I thought was real reasonable um, for what we got took about two and a half weeks so that's it for today don't forget to subscribe like and share this video and hit that little notification bell so you get notified every time that uh, <clears throat> that we make a video. And uh, I appreciate, uh, I think we, we're almost up to 180 subscribers and I appreciate all of you subscribing. Um, it's, <laughs> yeah, we, we decided to give this a shot, but I'm just amazed that 180 people want to hear me talk. So hopefully we keep going, more people subscribe and we keep making videos. Well, until the next one, We'll uh, see you later, and uh, next one probably be on electric, so we'll see you guys later.